Yo, what's up guys? Nash here coming at you with a brand new video and today we're talking about the top 10 Shopify apps that I actually use on pretty much all my stores and that help with conversions, you know, making your website look better and ultimately helping you make more sales. And the best part is most of them are free. All right guys, so uh, yeah, let's just jump straight into it. So the first one that I want to talk about is Oberlo, all right? And if you've been around Shopify at all, you probably know what Oberlo is. Basically, it's a must-have app. It's free um, until you start making like a bunch of sales, which at that point, it doesn't really matter. But basically what this does is it allows you to import apps from AliExpress, um, as well as, you know, put all the description and information and stuff. And the best part about it is that whenever somebody orders, this thing actually allows you to, uh, you know, basically press one button and it fills all the shipping information and all the information, uh, customer information, everything in. So all you have to do is hit the order button. You don't have to deal with, um, you know, putting in tracking information, all that stuff. It, it uh, you know, kind of syncs it all for you. And it makes it super easy. So for me, this is a must have, especially because it's free. Why would you not, um, in my opinion? So the second one that I want to talk about, also free, is Countdown Cart by Beaketing. Now, I know a lot of people talk about this app called Herify, which is uh, very similar. Basically, what this does is it creates, uh, let's see if they have any photos, they don't. Um, but basically, it creates this sort of uh, timer here, and it also creates a, um, a sense of urgency as well um, and scarcity. So besides this timer, it also has a scarcity bar that you can use if you want that allows you to say like, you know, only 10 products left or only, you know, 20 products left or whatever you want it to bake. Um, so yeah, it's the timer and the scarcity thing. And for that, like I've talked about in so many other videos, scarcity and uh, urgency is the biggest thing when it comes to making a sale, especially, you know, uh, impulse buys like a lot of people do with Shopify stores. So a countdown cart is a must have, it's free. So uh, yeah, why would you not? <clears throat> Third one is this thing called personalized recommendations. This one's also free. It just gets a percentage of whatever, uh, you know, sales you make. So what this does is it's basically an upsell app. So you have your main, um, let's see if they have a photo here. You got your main website, you got your product or whatever, but then down on the bottom it has these little, uh, they call them personalized recommendations, sort of similar to what Amazon has, where it was like, uh, you know, you can say best sellers or you can say frequently bought with and you have, you know, just certain products that people can look at and you can use as an upsell, obviously increasing your order value and uh, you know, hopefully increasing your, your average customer value as well. So uh, this is one that I use all the time and it's done super well for me and it's free. It just gets, I don't remember what the percentage of it is, but basically whenever somebody adds to cart and buys something that this app recommends, it takes like, I don't know, like 10% or something like that. Like it's not very much, but it's definitely worth it. Um, so the next one is this, uh, this is also by Beaky Ting. It's called Sales Pop. And you've probably seen these all over the place, but it's these little pop-up things that come up uh, basically whenever a customer buys something. They're little notifications, and the, the main reason that you want this is because it shows some social proof that other people are buying, that your site's not just like, that they're not the only one on the site, there's other people actually buying it. And that kind of builds into the whole, number one, social proof, but number two, um, kind of FOMO, fear of missing out where if they don't buy it, they feel like they're kind of missing out on it. And that just kind of builds in the whole psychology of it. This is also a free app um, that I use all the time and I've seen good conversions with it. I know a lot of other Shopify stores use it. Um, so yeah, this, this is just you know, something that I use that I think is really good. Uh, the next one is this thing called Free Trust Badge by Hector. This is obviously free. Um, and what this does is it allows you to have um, pull this up, these trust badges here. So, and you can customize them to whatever you want it to be. You, they have a bunch of different, you know, logos for payment processes and stuff. So I see a lot of people doing, uh, you know, they make their own Photoshop file or whatever of, uh, you know, payment processors or secure checkout with PayPal. And that's fine, you can do that. Um, for me, this is just a little bit easier because it's an app and it's built in and, you know, you can just pretty much plug and play. So that's why I like it. And you can also change the colors to match your theme and all that stuff. So. That's why I like free trust badge. Um, the next one is called Clavio. Clavio is a must have. Well, there's there's other ones. There's like, you know, Get Response, there's MailChimp, there's um, Aweber. There's a bunch of them out there. Um, but for me, Clavio is the best. Um, number one, because it's free up until, you know, a certain amount of subscribers, which is pretty a pretty decent amount, which you're probably not gonna get right away. Number two is that it has these email templates to kind of fit with the Shopify integration. 
So it's super easy to customize like your notifications and everything with Shopify in terms of like shipping notifications, uh, order fulfillment, confirmation, that kind of stuff. Um, so yeah, I really like Klaviyo for that. It's also good for abandoned cart. I know a lot of people use like abandoned checkout or uh, abandonment protector, whatever it's called. And I've used that before, but honestly, I don't find it any different than this. And with Klaviyo, you can actually, you know, not only do abandoned carts, but you can also do normal email campaigns, um, which is super important when you're trying to scale your website. And you're definitely going to want to to have that. Um, so yeah, Klaviyo is what I use for my email marketing. Uh, this one, literally one of my favorite apps ever. It's the coolest thing. So you've heard me talk about social proof, right? With the sales pop and you know, in other videos. Well, um, to me, what one of the most important things is, and what most people look at when they're looking to buy a product is reviews. Are there other people that are you know satisfied with this product? When you're on Amazon, what's the number one thing that you look at when you're looking at a product? Like besides the product photos and price, you're probably looking at reviews. If people don't like it, or if they're getting bad reviews, you're probably not gonna buy it, right? So what this app does is it actually will allow you to import reviews from AliExpress. So uh, let's see the screenshot. So like, you know when you, um, uh, yeah, so here's some reviews from, from AliExpress, but you know when you're on AliExpress and you can look down at the feedback, and I'll say like, you know, 40 comments left for feedback. You can actually take those reviews that are for the product, right? So they're actually for the product, it's not like you know, scamming or whatever. Um, but you can take those reviews and basically import them into your Shopify store and uh, basically use them as your own social proof. So using this app, I think it has like a seven day free trial and after that it's like seven or nine dollars a month. So it's not that much and it's totally worth it because it legitimizes your website and it just makes it look so much more professional. Uh, this is one of my absolute favorite apps. I highly recommend getting that. Um, so yeah, that's, that's all the reviews. Um, this is another one that I use. It's called Spin a Sale. It's five bucks a month. Uh, they have a 10 day free trial. But why this one is cool, and you've maybe seen this on some websites as well, is it has this little pop out thing. Basically, you use it for uh, you know getting emails and building your email list for uh, you know whatever you want to use it for, for marketing later, for running contests, whatever. But um, what's cool about this is that it incentivizes the person to insert their email so that they can you know, win a prize, which is usually a percentage discount on your store. So it's kind of like a fun game that your customer can play in return for their email. So it's just much easier than if you just have like a normal pop-up that says, hey, enter your email and get 10%. Like it's not as fun as if you get to actually spin this and it animates and you know, it's kind of fun. This one, it's called Boost Sales. This one is also super, super important that I use all the time. It's similar to the personalized recommendations, but this kind of takes it to another level. Basically, you can do upsells, which uh, upsells and cross sells, which the difference is an upsell is something that you, you try to sell after a customer already buys something or adds something to the cart, right? And a cross sell is something that when somebody is on the page, a pop up comes out and they're basically. Um, you know, asked if they would like to purchase this item as well. So that's prior to them adding to cart. So um, this is a little bit expensive. It's like 30 bucks a month, but guys, no joke. I made like $1,500 off of just this app, like nothing else, just this app last month. So it's totally worth it. Um, but yeah, so basically this is just an upsell app and uh, you can totally customize it. You can basically make upsells for whatever product you want and put the products that you want to upsell in that, same with the cross sell. You can also do last chance offers when they're uh, you know, checking out, um, which is super cool. So yeah, definitely recommend this app. The last one, and this one's not as fun, it's like, you know, it's kind of a boring thing, but it's definitely necessary, is this thing called Aftership. And what Aftership does is it allows your customers to actually track their shipping confirmation numbers or whatever on your website. So number one, it makes you look professional, but number two, it also cuts down on your customer inquiries, asking like, where's my package, or whatever, because now that they have their, you know, their tracking number, you can just tell them, hey, you know, you can check your tracking information on the website and you don't have to contact us. So that just cuts down your customer service complaints and, and all that stuff, which is super valuable. Plus it's free up to, I think a hundred orders a month, which when you're just getting started, a hundred orders a month is, is quite a lot. After that, I don't remember how much it is, um, but I mean, it doesn't really matter at that point because you're going to be able to afford it. But this is definitely one that you're going to want to have on your website. And if you want me to show you how you can set up, uh, you know, tracking and stuff on your website in future videos, I can show you how to do that. Um, but yeah, so 
These are basically the 10 apps that I use on a daily basis on my website all the time. Like you saw, most of them, probably like 70% of them are free, and the ones that aren't free at least have a free trial um, that you can get started with. Hopefully this video was valuable for you guys. If you found some value with it, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Also hit the like and let me know that you like it. Uh, hit the notification bell as well because you'll be notified whenever I drop a video, which I'm doing every single day, and it's free value, so why would you not want to be notified exactly when I you know, post it? So, and lastly is I'm trying to get everybody on this channel that subscribes to me to $100 a day at least, right? So let me know in the comments, what is the thing that's holding you back right now from $100 a day? Whether it's your website, your marketing, whatever it is, just let me know so I can start making videos that hopefully will help you out to get you to that point. Lastly, if you want to get in contact with me directly, uh, my Instagram, I'll have it on the, on the screen right now. You can check it out. It's at Nash Hagen. Shoot me a DM. I'm always replying to people that you know DM me, and I'm, I'm really trying to help you guys out. So uh, don't be a stranger. Reach out, and uh, you know, I'll try to help you out. So with that being said, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys tomorrow.